Deathstroke number 21, Christopher Priest writing. Uh, how do you say it? Diogenes? Diogenes? Yeah, Diogenes Neves. Diogenes Neves, there you go. Yeah, I was called Neves. I, I just make it rhyme. It could be completely wrong, okay, but that's how fair. I remember how to say it. That, that is fair. So uh, we have the start of the Dark Titans arc in Deathstroke. Uh, what what a neat what a neat one for me to jump on for uh, discussing. Yeah right. Uh, but yeah, so we we have essentially the formation of this new team, this this Defiance. Deathstroke's Defiance team. Uh, although I like Dark Titans as a name more, so I'm probably just gonna call them the Dark yeah, Titans. Yeah, well, it's also this is Adeline's team. We find out that she this mm. was her idea for for Joseph, so it makes sense. Like it's given that name. Because it's it's gonna you know defy all this other things, I, but I just like it, it makes sense for Destro because he's defying who he is. Yeah. Uh, at his core, although maybe not really, because we still see him do some shady stuff, just in the name of good. We we <laughs> do. We basically, he he's unsatisfied. That there's not a big thing going on for them to go and be heroes for. There's no crisis. Yeah, where's a I cri- love that. Yeah, it's where's a good crisis when you need one is the the phrase that comes out of his mouth. So he basically goes and sparks a in- international incident by assassinating someone, and he even says to the guy, "Oh, yeah, I've sworn off killing after this one," and then he kills him. Uh, I hope that happens more. I hope every time we see him, they go, "Yeah, but you turn good." Yeah, I will after this one. So. I feel like uh, just a, I just I feel like you know if he's still going to kill, that's okay. It could be more of a red hood esque hero where he's still willing yeah. to kill uh, when the situation calls for it. But uh, but, but his hey, public persona is that he's reformed, so it's taking people by surprise. You know, it is, it is. But so so he does this. They spark the incident. Uh, we get this cool scene where you know they, they call the Justice League. Oh, there's a hundred and two American hostages at the yep. embassy. We have to go and save them. And then Deathstroke in, intercepts the call and says, "Nope, stand down, Justice League. We've got this." <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's where we get the first cool two-page spread of like the whole team together. Well, almost the whole team. There's one member who doesn't get introduced till the end of the issue. Uh, but so we get all the whole team, at least up until now, in costume going to save the day. Uh, and we've, you know we have various like other scenes like we we see. We see new Wally meet a new Power Girl, and they, they interact and they discuss like, is Deathstroke for real? Is he really trustworthy? Can we do this kind of thing? And you know, there's a, I thought it was maybe a little bit clunky how Wally had to have a page just to, kind of explaining why he was here. Right after he explained to Power Girl while he was there, and yeah, that so, was yeah, that was a problem. That was enough, and then we have this page of like, here's a here's one panel of him and Barry, here's a panel of him and yeah. Iris, here's a panel of him and whoever like. It's like, it didn't really like need filler. this page. Yeah. yeah. It, it didn't feel like filler. I do love their interaction, Power Girl and and New Wally, mm. uh, Kid Flash. And he's like, oh, you're on the team. Did you graduate high school already? He's like, I have two PhDs. Yeah, he's like, I'm, in, like, I'm, in, I'm in 10th grade. She's like, I've got two yeah. PhDs. <laughs> and they're at the same age. Or... It was, what grade are you in? I'm yeah. in 10th. That's what it was. She's yeah. like, I have two peach. But just the way that she looks at him and addresses it, it killed me. Uh, and also how they're both... Because I didn't read Teen Titans when she was on the team. So it's, she's still sore that she wasn't asked to be part of this oh, yeah. new me, one me by Damien. That's, that, that's was new 52 Teen Titans. It's, like, it's, yeah. not, it's not a surprise that neither of us read that. No, but I like that she still... A little bit sore. She wasn't asked to be on that, but mm. now she has this purpose, and I like these two bouncing off each other because they both are kind of products of the new Fifty Two that aren't necessary, but you can do cool stuff with, like here in Deathstroke and even Flash. Because we have, yeah, we have Ginger Wally back. I, I think we don't really a, need New Wally. I think it's but, interesting you point that out. I actually kind of like that idea that they're, they're both kind of rejects in this weird way because they both came yeah. out of an era that no one likes. Yep. So they're going to do something interesting with them. It's it's almost kind of like uh, okay, you have a bunch of sea listers. No one really cares about them, and I'm not saying these are sea listers. I mean they kind of are, no. but uh, yeah. like it's, you have a bunch of sea listers. What do you do with them to make them interesting? Oh, you put them in a team. Make right. make it a new team who are trying to prove themselves together. And Secret maybe... Six. That's what, what launched Secret Six, and then Catman became people's favorite character. You know, even on even on TV, Legends of Tomorrow. That's, I mean, that's a yeah. group of C and D listers. But somehow you make them a team, and then all of a sudden it feels like, oh, okay, this is their own thing. This is this can be something. Uh, Definitely. And you go with that. Uh, also, uh, Joseph's on on the team because he just wants to try and stay close to Slade to investigate him to see if he killed his his fiance. 
I like that because that was my biggest problem coming forth that we had this whole wedding thing and then we never mm-hmm. got to see the wedding. And here it puts into, oh, she was murdered before the wedding could even go off. So who was it? Mm-hmm. And he has that list of who killed uh, Eddie and Rose is on there and Mom's on there and Deathstroke's on there. And I like Rose even brings that up. Yeah, well, also it's worth mentioning here that they, they speculate maybe it wasn't him, but it probably was him. And then yeah. later on in the issue, Wintergreen and Adeline are talking about it, and right. they go, yeah, but we both know it wasn't. And I'm like, oh, what did they know? Who, who Did they know who did it? Was it her? Is, yeah. is this is this shady game from her side of the, you know, the aisle? Like, what's... What, if it, what if it's Billy Wintergreen, and he did it to save the family? Well, 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 that's just the thing. Like, when I agree at the end, like he seems to be agreeing to like backstab Slade, which feels really against his character, given everything yeah. we've seen from him. Uh, and mm-hmm. that's when they introduce the final member of the team that they're bringing onto it, who's who's Terra, which makes me question: Did Judas contract uh, happen in this timeline? I don't know. I guess it didn't. It's, yeah, but then what was the whole point of the Lazarus contract? Like, I guess I'm confused. <laughs> Because that was the whole point, is what, there... Uh, well, what did they say in Lazarus' contract about what actually happened uh, with... Because Ravager... So I, I got it, that was all about Ravager. And then yeah. the deal that Dick made was to train Rose. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. This is... My, my... But then again, I do this, Priest does this, and then it pays off in three issues. So oh, sure. maybe we'll yeah. get... But, I, you know, they introduced her smoking, which was, you know... That was one of the things about Tara, is that she looked like this innocent girl. And you see that, oh no, she's far from it. She's a smoking, drinking, cussing like a sailor, you know, two-bit hood. Well, I so mean, he... obviously Wintergreen, I'm assuming it's Wintergreen who's like, Tara? Yeah. Uh, he's shocked to see her, so he seems to know who she is. So clearly yeah. there's some kind of history. Uh, yeah. So I'm sure we'll find that out as we go forward. Uh, I'm liking the outfits. The outfits are pretty cool. The black and yeah. white uh, suits are cool. Nice and uniform. But don't like a cape on on Deathstroke though. That's just weird. Cape has a little bit weird. Yeah, that's fair. But maybe that'll, that'll have a point. But he looks, he looks like a, a random '90s hero, which I kind of love. Yeah, I, I do. I do like the look of them. Uh, I do want to point out that uh, Slade is very close with this new dog that he bought, Power Girl, even though he's As... the one who killed the old dog. Yeah. It feels very, I don't know. It's just sitting on his lap, you know. But yeah, I like, I like this is the new era for Deathstroke. I've never, granted I've never been into that, the character that much, but from what I know about him, he's not a team player. Do, so the fact that you're throwing him on a team is pretty great. Do you think there was a small chance that he wasn't the one who murdered the guy? Because he's in costume, right? And obviously it plays very much like it cuts back to him on the couch going, oh, now we have a game. Like I yeah. wonder if it's a misdirect and it wasn't actually him that killed the uh, the, the chauffeur dude. Yeah, because he was in the Deathstroke costume, not the new Deathstroke costume. But then again, I see this as an end justifying the means, and the guy, the guy was you know a drug dealer type, you know. It's just it's just it's the way I'm just looking at the pages now. It's the way it happens, and then it cuts yeah. to the next page, and he's already sitting on the couch watching the the news story, and I'm like. You know, I read that as being him, but I'm thinking, you know, that could be a misdirect. It could actually be someone else. Like, it could that was be the someone. Whole point of the chi- yeah, that was the whole point yeah. of the Chicago issue, was someone was pretending to be him. Yeah, I I could see it playing that, and then people are going to like debate, like you know, speculate later on, like, wait, did you kill this guy? Have you really turned over a new leaf? But maybe mm-hmm. he, he is actually trying genuinely to not kill people, but someone else has thrown a wrench into it already. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. Like, I'm wondering if there's a misdirect there, and it isn't yeah. actually Slade, uh, because. Because then the question goes, if he, if he is really trying to keep up the public persona of someone who isn't killing, then would he maybe wear something else? You know, rather yeah. than his classic costume when he goes and does this? I don't know. Uh, It'd be weird. Some speculation worth... So, you know, is Wintergreen playing against the rest of the, the team? Is he is he going to actually backstab Slade? Or is he actually working for Slade and there's some weird double-cross, triple-cross thing going on that we can't perceive yet because... Priest is playing the long game, and it's it's almost impossible. Did Terra yep. kill uh, what's her face? That's what I'm. That's mm. what I'm starting to believe is Adeline has more to do with this. Like, I feel like there's a misdirect coming that we think that Deathstroke's the big bad, right? Because his mm. morals and he's nuts. And but what if it's Adeline and she's just as bad? 
And that's why they were always and kind hey, of meant for each other. What if they really set this team up as a long-term thing by having them come together because they end up realising that Deathstroke's being framed for something and they all yeah. work together to stop Terra and Adeline. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I, I see a lot of possibilities from this. I'm, I am, Me too. You know, after a very rough crossover, and it was very rough, I'm excited yeah. for where this could be going now, which is nice. <laughs>